So welcome back to the second edition of Power Week, where I will go through a new feature of the September 2018 Power BI desktop release. We are going to talk about M intelligence. We are going to talk about new reporting features. We are going to talk about aggregating features. And we're going to talk about the new data connector. In today's video, we are going to talk about the new reporting features. Don't miss it. They are very, very cool. Okay, so we're going to go through the new reporting features. Okay, and the, the first one I want to cover is the new added functionality to the scatter plot. So I have here, this is my YouTube analytics data. It is filtered by sometime in 2016. And I have some videos and some watch time. So how many minutes you watch for each video. And if I change that to a scatter plot, you will see that before this was not possible, you cannot have um, on the title, uh, you know, text on the X axis of a scatter plot. It was not possible. You can't do it now. And you might say, okay, so why is that exciting, right? You had a bar chart. It did the same thing. Yes, but scatter charts, they allowed for a third dimension in, which I think is really, really useful. So let me show you. Here we have a video, how long it was watched, how many minutes, but let's say that I would like to know how popular that video was. So let's say it was a long video, and for that reason it has longer minutes, but it hasn't been watched that much. So perhaps it was not a popular video after all. So if I go into my report and I put total videos as a size, then it starts to get a little bit more interesting, perhaps not with this data, but you know, when you expand the data, you can see, you, I'm able to see which videos have either two, not you know, watch minutes um, based on the views, or I have videos that have a lot of views but not watch a lot of watch minutes, which means basically that you guys clicked on it and were disappointed and, you know, stopped watching. It will count as a view, but the watch minutes will not uh, be as good. And this is a perfect way for me to know uh, which videos you like the most and which ones I just feel completely. So this scatter plot is very, very useful actually. Okay, next tip uh, or next feature. It is possible now on the matrix table. Let's turn that into a matrix. To copy paste uh, the, the data. Let's bring Excel. So here we have the videos, we have some direction, and say, say that I want to have this one copied into Excel. So I said copy selection, go to Excel, paste. And the neat thing about this, it is actually it copies the title, you know, the header of the uh, table too. And you might say, well, you pick the first one. It doesn't matter which one you pick. Let me show you. We go back here. I pick this one, copy, new, paste. Oh, I picked the wrong one. I have to have copy selection. Let's do it again. Paste. How neat is that? I mean, I think this is absolutely brilliant. Well done. So you can see, you saw it already, but let me do it again in case you missed it. You can actually go in here and then go there and say copy value and copy just one value if that's what you're interested in. Or you can also go in here and then go in there and then go in there and say, I just want to copy these three rows. So you select them with control and then you go to and there you have it. And now I'm curious, what happens if I copy, will it copy the title again? Or will it, no. If I go here and I copy selection and I co paste it in the place where I already have the title, what is it going to do? 
Oh, okay. It doesn't recognize that the title is there, so it copies it again. Fine. Okay. But that's a minor thing, right? So brilliant, brilliant. They're going to introduce even more features. I don't know what they are, but it sounds good. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Next one. Theming. Let's do this. We go in here and if you go to home, switch theme, they have added themes there. So instead of just having the Microsoft default, you have a few more to choose. It's fine. I'm not super excited about this. What I would have loved is I could have my theme and my customer's theme in there because I always have to go and grab them. And okay, it's not the end of the world, but it would have been nice. And I understand that that could be a bit tricky because where do you save it if you are a large organization? I, I completely understand. But perhaps on Power BI service, they could actually do that. You, you, they could uh, say to the Power BI service, this is the theme that we use at our company. And whatever you load in there, it should be an option here on Power BI desktop that says, yes, move to the corporate theme while uploading or something. I think that would be a neat feature actually. But again, everything is on the work, so who knows, maybe soon. And the last thing is that the tool tips are generally available. What that means basically is that you don't have to click on the preview feature anymore. It will just work out of the box once you just start using them. And the code, I don't have any tool tips, here but the card this one if you let me let me let me let me total videos card so this one allows for um tooltips report of tooltips also which is super nice so a lot of goodies actually i i think they are doing a fantastic job there's a lot of clever things in this release that i absolutely love and with the theme, and I, I would love more improvements there, but uh, they'll, they'll get there. So tomorrow, another video for Power Week. Stay tuned. And in the meantime, take care and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.